Hey there everyone, another exciting video and first and foremost, happy birthday Learn Code Online. Super happy to have your love and support. It really means pure and pure love that is coming to me. It's so amazing. Now let's move forward into the video section. So I just received a couple of messages from the students that now in the latest version of the Flutter plugin in VS Code, the tricks are missing. The tricks that I have been doing a little bit, like let's just say let's create a new file here. Uh, we're going to call this as test dot dart, whatever you like. And when I say st less, uh, stuff like that. So I've been doing this st less, it gives me a stateless widget. Or when I do something like st full, this is now no longer up here. My plugin is still not being updated, so that's why I'm having it. And they are saying that, hey, there's these, this functionality is now gone in the latest plugin of the Flutter. So no worries, first and foremost, not cool Flutter team. If you have removed this, this is not cool. We really want to have it. But this is a great important moment here for all of us to understand that how these snippets are being designed so that we can learn these snippets through the Flutter, but it can be applied for Perl, Python, Ruby, C, C++, Java, whatever that is. It's super easy to design and super easy to customize. So after watching this video, you will be able to create all of your plugins and the user snippets. You don't have to watch any other video after this, I promise. I'm gonna explain each and every line of it. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and clean that. So even though, let's just say you don't know what the things you want to design, we're gonna have, let's just say, uh, I'm gonna say st less. So right now you are manually writing this much of the code, okay? And notice here when I hit my tab key, automatically my cursor jumps from line number one to line number five. So we want this functionality as well. And when I want to go ahead and type this uh, st full, notice here as soon as I do it, I have multiple cursor being automatically enabled. We want this functionality as well. And when I type something like test, automatically at every place as it goes, when I hit the tab key again, I move to line number 10 this one also. So we want to create all of these functionality. So let's go ahead and do them one by one. By the end of this video, I will link the file in the description section in the text file. So that in case you don't want to like, just do all of this, you can just copy and paste from my file as well. But together, we're going to just learn this design part as well. Okay. So first and foremost, we're going to design the st less, which is stateless, I'm going to call this as f less for flutter less, feel free to call it anything, you can customize that. So hit command shift p or control shift p if you're on a PC, which opens up this user palette. And I'm going to simply say sni pp snippet. And notice it says there is a configure user snippet, the first option is in the preference, uh, configure user snippet, just click on that. Okay. Next thing that you get is you can customize snippets for any file that you like, uh, for Git, for Go, for CoffeeScript, for C++, whatever that is. Now, in the in this uh, in this VS Code, we have user snippet for each and every file separately. That's very good. If it is all in just one file, it is so, so bad. So we're going to select Dart. So go ahead and type Dart. And it's going to give you Dart.json. This is where you're going to write your snippet. So let's zoom back here. Okay. And this is the basic we are having, the basic entire thing. And all, we do have an example here, but I think we can just get rid of this. So just select everything inside, or we can just select everything and delete that. Now in this JSON file, first and foremost, everything needs to go as a big gigantic object. So go ahead and just use that first and foremost. Now we have to name, uh, in this, we're gonna have a name of these plugins or user snippet. So first one is gonna be stateless and this needs to go into double quotes. And we're gonna call this as stateless. And that's gonna be one plugin with a lot of features just like that separated by comma. We're gonna have a stateful as well. So we're gonna say stateful. Okay, and there we go. Now, similar to this, you can provide as many snippets that you like. And don't worry, we are not going to call them stateful. The shorter typing version, just like we were having ST full and ST less, we are going to provide that in a minute. First and foremost, let's go for ST less. We're going to go inside that and hit enter. The two compulsory thing that we have to put inside this, the first one is actually the prefix separated by comma. The second one is actually the body. We definitely can provide description as well, but that is totally for our personal use, this is not compulsory. So what do you want to call? What do you want to type when everything just expands to a bigger code? I'm gonna call this as F less. Feel free to just customize it on your own as well. Now the body part is interesting. Now in the body part, we don't provide directly a string because it's not just one line of code that we are writing. It's gonna be multiple lines that we are having. So we're gonna provide an array inside that. The array is going to be uh, an array of strings 
And this is a little bit tricky situation here. So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna just copy everything here from here, and we're gonna just paste it just inside these uh, brackets here. So there we go. Now, this is not syntactically correct. So next thing that we have to do is select each and every line, and we have to wrap it inside the double quotes because it's gonna be an array of strings. There we go. So wrap everything up just a string. So each line is gonna go inside double quotes. There we go. This one also, so however that is, this is the most easiest way to design this. And there we go. And make sure the last one is your square brackets, which is an array. Now, since this is a collection of an array or collection of an strings, not array, we're gonna provide a comma as well. So make sure you put a comma at the end of every one of that. There we go, there we go. Now I'm gonna save that first, okay? So this is how it's gonna look like for a moment. And notice F less, so it is already, I'm gonna save this for a moment and I think this is gonna give us an error. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove it for a moment. Uh, we're gonna come back onto this later on. Right now, I don't want an error, error here. Save that. Let's see how it is going on right now. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say F less. Notice it says a user snippet here. I'm gonna hit the tab and there we go. Yeah, it's good, but our cursor right now is pointing at the end. The indentation is also not really beautiful. So now it's time to indent them. Rest all is all good. So let's go up here. And also one more thing, I want to add an import statement as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna say import, and I'm gonna say I want to import the material. So this first line also should go there. So I'm gonna just copy this. And on the very first array, I'm gonna press Command Shift D, duplicate that. And I'm gonna just paste this line here so that whenever I write this custom snippet, uh, it automatically just comes up uh, this material line also. Again, personal preference. Okay, this is looking good. Now what we have to do is provide some of the tab and indentation as well. So we're gonna get started with that. So let's see how it's going. Over. So this one and this one is one tab. So we're gonna just say a slash T. This one is also gonna slash T. Okay. And then this return is two indented out here. So we're gonna go ahead and give a, a slash T two times. There we go. And then moving further, this is also two T's. So we're gonna get two tabs. This one is gonna be one tab. There we go. So let's just save this now and let's try it one more time that how it is going to look like. So let's just say we're gonna remove this part and I'm gonna say F less and hit tab. There we go. Looking good. Uh, this is now well indented. Now, a couple of more stuff that we really want to do is uh, I want my cursor to jump in here in an empty line, and I want my cursor to appear here as well. So in order to do so, what we need to do is just after this class, I'm gonna mention $1. $1 is where you want your cursor to be. So that's what we are having right now. And after that, I'm gonna just place a string here as well. This is going to be an empty line. So I'm gonna just press slash T slash T slash T because it's a three indented. Make sure you have a comma as well. And I'm gonna say $2, next position where you want your cursor to go. Save that. Let's try it one more time. This is super fun and super easy. There we go. I'm gonna say F less, there we go. So cursor is coming up, let's just call it as test. Hit the tab again, and there we go. Cursor is going up nice here. And again, the error is because now we do have other stuff as well at the top. Let's remove everything and say F less, there we go. And it looks good, I'm gonna say test, hit the tab, and there we go. So we have learned how we can design our own custom snippet as well. So this one is for S less, uh, F less, for state less. Now we need to do one more thing up here, which is make sure you put a comma here as well, and this is gonna be state full. That is again gonna be a big gigantic object. Two important thing to have it here is, first one is prefix, which is gonna say F full, yeah call it anything, whatever you like. And then the compulsory one is body, there we go. We're not gonna go for string into the body, we're gonna uh, provide a big gigantic array here. And again, we have to do the repeat the same task, so I'm gonna do that into a little bit fast forward manner. Okay, so now that our this class is also ready, I'm gonna just provide one more thing here because I think having an import statement is also a good idea for these kinds of snippets. Again, personal preference here. 
I'm going to save that and now, now let's just try uh, F full as well here. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say F full. Yeah, there we go. Looks pretty good. Now we need to worry about uh, where we need to put these dollar sign one as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first one is going to be just after the class. So I'm going to just say dollar one. And if you want to have a multiple cursor, you can just write dollar one again at uh, any given point of time. So this is going to be dollar one. Then uh, let's just have a look where these cursor actually appears. So I'm going to say st full. There we go. So one up here, one before the state. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. Dollar uh, one. Dollar one. Where next we get that? Okay, here and in the bottom class as well. In here. So this is going to be dollar one. And here as well, dollar one. Okay. And then we want the cursor to just after that hit the tab or just say test. And when I hit the tab, oops, command Z. I should go up here as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, let's just save that and try that first before we going that. We're going to say F full. Hit the tab and there we go. We are getting the multiple cursor. The indentation is definitely a little bit off. Uh, but let's just say test. Yeah, that works pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead, click on that. And now let me fix the indentation. But again, in the fast forward. Okay, so it looks good now. Let's just say uh, we're going to go into this one and let's just try this out again one more time. Select that, delete that, F full and hit tab. And there we go. Looks nice. We're going to say test and hit the tab key again. And there we go. We are getting in th inside the container. So that looks good. That looks awesome. So I'm going to just save this uh, again. Now you know how to create these ones. But again, if you want to use mine one, I'll link this test text file in the description section. So you can just uh, just copy and paste this entirely. It's going to work like a charm. But again, if you want to edit these prefixes, you have a better one. So go ahead, feel free to do that. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this one as making this video was so fun. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's the most important thing. And I'll surely catch you up in the next video.